So my last RTS camera in Godot video is getting a little outdated and it was not exactly that efficient. So this video will be a revisited version of that. So let's get right into it. So I will be starting this from scratch. So I will go ahead and add in a child node. So I'll add in a position 3D to the scene here. And it can just be empty. And then I'm going to add in a camera. I'll move this, let's say right here, rotate it like such, just so we can actually see it. I'm going to preview it just to make sure it actually looks good. Okay, yes, that is acceptable. And then we want to attach a script to our position 3D, and I'm just going to call it camera movement. Okay, and now we need to go to our input map. We need move forward, move back, move left, move right. And I'll also want rotation using the keyboard, so I'll say rotate left and rotate right. And then I'm going to go ahead and assign the. So we can go into our script and make a function called calculate movement, and we can have axis 1 and axis 2, and we just want to return axis 1 minus axis 2, and that'll be everything for that function. And then we want to create a function called input, and it will need a delta, and then we can just create a variable called move, and it will be a vector 3. So let's say var mov is equal to vector 3, just an empty vector 3. And then we want to set x, so mov.x is equal to calculate movement, and I believe x is left and right, so we'll need uh, move left and move right, okay? That should be it for our x, and then for z, which is forward, so mov.z is equal to calculate movement, move forward, and move back. Okay, now we should say, we should just be able to add our translation to it, so translation plus equal mov. Okay, uh, let's test this out to see if it works. Okay, we're not actually calling the input function, so let's just say following process, and we can just say input, and I'm going to pass in delta, and I'm also going to multiply this this by delta as well just so it has frame rate independent okay now I test it okay invalid operators okay so i figured out why that is it's because we need to say input dot get action string and then axis one minus input dot get action string axis two because right now the only thing it's saying is a string so i will test that out now and we can see the controls are off. Like whenever I press D, it moves me back, and whenever I press S, it moves me left. I'm not sure why that is. I will make sure my input map is correct. Forward W. Okay. Okay, so we can easily fix this just by saying mov.z and x, and then I can test it out to see if that works. Yes, it does. Uh, except left and right are reversed, but everything else is good. So I'm just going to say uh, mov.z is equal to negative calculate movement and that sh should fix our problem so right now the move speed is really slow so let's create an export variable so export var mov speed is i'm just going to say equal to a flow and let's just say 25 times mov speed times mov and then run that and we can say it's a little bit fast okay so now we have the movement set up but now let's actually get this thing rotate. So we'll need to just set the rotation. So ro rotation dot y is it minus equals calculate movement. Rotate left, rotate right times delta. And then I found 0 0.1 is a good speed. Now let's see if that works. Yes, it does. But right now we're still not moving uh, globally. So we need to do that. So moving globally is a little bit harder than just moving. So we'll need to use, we'll pretty much need to rip all this out except for maybe this. So I'm going to create, no, I shouldn't actually need to create a new variable here. So we can just say global translate. And then we need to get the global transform. So get global transform dot basis dot z dot normalize time times times negative move dot z and then i'll get rid of this translation function here so let's see if that works okay it's once again reverted and we are not moving globally so i will 
go ahead and get rid of that. I'm gonna try and change that to an egg. Okay. okay, so I fixed it. I just said dot basis dot z dot normalize times positive move dot z. I'm going to ramp up the speed on this rotation here. So let's just say five actually. So yes, you can see that the camera now moves relative to the rotation, but only on one axis. So we need to do that for the x as well. So global translate get global transform. And I have no idea why this function doesn't auto complete. It's odd. But anyways dot basis dot x dot normalize and then times move dot x and then that should work so let's test it out so if we rotate the camera we can see that it does indeed move uh one thing i noticed though is that the axis appears to be inverted but this is really down to personal decision uh but anyways thanks for watching if you like this video then be sure to leave a like subscribe it helps out the channel and helps get content like this recommended to others that's all from me for now fun Uber, out